everyone, uh, welcome back. My name is AJ Potter, I'm product manager for Heroes of Three Kingdoms. Uh, in this video preview, we'll be introducing the mount system. So soon after players create their character, they'll be introduced to the mount system. They'll be given a free basic mount just through the course of the gameplay. Um, but there's a wide variety of mounts available in the game, so from the more common, just the horse, uh, varying in all different sizes and types. Uh, but there's also more exotic ones like the water buffalo, bulls, foxes, uh, elephants. So rather than a traditional like, pet system uh, commonly found in MMOs, uh, your mount in this case fulfills that role of your companion. So all mounts can be upgraded. Uh, there's a variety of items that you can acquire to increase your mount's attributes, so like statistically. Uh, so you can acquire whips and saddles that'll upgrade its say, speed or like the amount, like decrease the amount of time it takes to mount it. Then there's also items that will transform it visually. Uh, so, for example, you can take uh, the elephant calf. Uh, that can eventually evolve into a mammoth. And that, later on, that mammoth can become a behemoth. So rather than just being a means and mode of transportation, uh, we actually have a mounted combat system. Uh, so through training, players will be able to acquire a number of mount-specific combat skills. So wielding weapons like the glaive or the spear will give you different abilities than if you had something like the mace or the bow. Uh, so with the integration of a mounted combat system and the ability to upgrade them, this really brings a new and unique experience in Heroes of Three Kingdoms.